I was reading comments today and somebody called me moderately entertaining and I wanted to thank that person. That is one of the nicest things anybody's ever said to me and thank you. Hi beautiful, welcome back. Thank you for being here. Today's a little bit of an interesting video and if you came here for me to bash on some people, some hairstylists, it's not gonna happen because I do hair just reacts. And if you haven't noticed, I never react to professional hairstylists doing hair badly. And that's because I'm not here to pick on other hairstylists. I'm here to pick on people who have no idea what they're doing and are not hairstylists because that's way more entertaining. Today's video goes a little bit in that um, that zone of me being a little uncomfortable. I am gonna be watching some videos of people going to the lowest rated hair salons in their area. But all the videos have the people's faces blurred out and even if I really go hard on these people, I don't think that they're bad hairstylists. Not every hairstylist is good at everything and sometimes they overreach. All right, let's watch some people go to the worst rated hair salons in their area and get some botched hair color and haircut. Let's do it. Our first video is by Susie Guajardo and it is worst hair salon crin in my city. Cringy, okay. So she went to the worst hair salon in her city. There's a lot of things I would do for views and this is not one of them. Good morning guys, what's up? So for today's video, hey, I'm gonna go completely out of my comfort zone. Yeah. I am getting my hair done. My hair is beyond dead, like dead, dead, dead. Quick evaluation of her hair. Um, it looks like it hasn't been colored to me and she has fine hair. And so it's a pretty good starting place for a good haircut and a good hair color. It shouldn't be too difficult. So let's see what happens. I haven't done anything to my hair in a long time because I am so scared of change. Like I love just normal brown hair, but I think it's time for me to get some highlights done. And that's what I'm thinking about doing. I love Plus, that. Plus it doesn't help that my boyfriend literally tells me all the time that my hair is boring and he wants me to do something with it. I love your boyfriend. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna be honest, your hair is a little bit boring. <laughs> I'm excited to see what happens. Maybe it's not as bad as she's as she as she titled this video. Okay, okay, I lied. Her hair is thick. <laughs> okay, so the stylist is going in with a balayage technique. He is hand painting highlights in her hair using some paper to protect each strand that he's painting, which is Look how he's putting the bleach. A little evaluation here. I'm I'm not mad at the placement. I love that he didn't do the top layer of her hair. And she just put in a little title screen that said, look how high he's putting the foil. But because he took that kind of halo circle section out of the top, you're not really gonna see those high highlights because he has all that hair on top covering it. So I'm actually very impressed with the application so far. I don't know how this is gonna come out bad because that was actually pretty good from what I can tell here. It it's very similar to how I would have done it, but we'll see if he, he really blended those highlights in to a natural hair color. And sometimes people just too, are too heavy handed with it and makes kind of like bleed marks in the hair, makes kind of like shelf highlights. So it's a very artistic process doing balayage highlights. And if you're not artistic, don't do it. <laughs> Let's see. Realizing there's no blonde on the front of my hair. Yeah, I would have probably done like two little strands up front because clients love that when they have those little money pieces right there. Like that? Yeah. Oh, oh, this is what you want. Oh, that's really pretty. I like that a lot. If she wants this, I would have 100% put highlights at at the top. Yeah, I wouldn't have taken a section a, dar a section out and left it dark because she clearly wants highlights on the on the top layer of her hair. I don't know, it's still not the worst idea. I get what he was doing because when he lets the top down, the underneath is gonna shine through and you're gonna see little variations of it through the top. You'll understand once, once, once we keep moving forward, I think. But she clearly wants some highlights on the top and around her face. So let's see if he gives it to her. Okay, <laughs> this title card she added in says, someone help me understand what the is going on and why I didn't say anything. Well, I don't know why you didn't say anything, but I can help you understand what's going on. He's doing round layering on you right now. It's not exactly the most precise round layering I've ever seen in my life. It's kind of like the lazy version of layering. <laughs> it's kind of like when you want that client in and out and you're just like, 
get through it, which I definitely don't do. He definitely should have taken smaller sections and not cut so much hair at once. Cause what he's doing is grabbing a giant section and cutting down all the way to his knuckles, all that hair. But what you should be doing is pulling the hair 90 degrees from the head, cutting the like an inch off, half an inch off, pulling it 90 degrees from the head from that angle, chopping an inch off. Cause that's how you're gonna get that round layering. Can we get a diagram up here? This is what round layering is. So you have to pull 90 degrees from the head all the way around and not just pull it out once and go snip. That's just gonna give you a lot of like shelf layers. And whoo, he is giving her some short layers, honey. No, pretty short. So my hair is super short. My length is still there. It just looks like I'm cutting a lot. I'm cringing so bad because like I feel genuinely bad for the hairstylist and not that I really should feel bad for him I just like I don't know. He's clearly doing his best. <laughs> I don't know. I feel for him I feel for both of them yeah, I'm just gonna skip the whole haircut thing because he botched my haircut and watch you get my haircut and not say anything Really bothers me and it breaks my heart watching it. He cut the f out of my hair still got plenty of hair I regret making this video. <laughs> he seems like such a nice guy. Her hair doesn't even look bad. But then again, I'm only seeing a video. I don't really know what's going on in real life. Like I can't exactly see, but like, <sighs> This also might be offensive, but like he's clearly an older guy and I'm quite impressed that he even knew that technique on how to do those highlights. Like that balayage, it, not a lot of older hairstylists know how to do that. And he did good. Listen, she looks better than before, okay? This is what my hair looks like. It so looks good. I'm tomorrow to basically do it again because it's just not what I asked for. And the guy was super nice about basically making me happy. Okay. Hold up. First of all, I'm gonna say, to be honest with you, I don't think this looks bad at all. The highlights are actually really pretty. I think the haircut is definitely old school and definitely way too layered. The highlights are actually kind of close to what she asked for. She just needs a little bit more of a concentration of highlights at her ends. The overall tone is like almost there. I'm not horribly mad about this. <laughs> Like it could be better, but it's like, I don't think it's horrible. To be honest with you, she looks way better than when she walked in the salon. And like there's some sections like over here that I feel like is yeah, way you, blonder. You're always gonna get a variation more. of lightness. Oh, so if I were the hairstylist, I would have also put her hair in foils, but I can't judge this hugely because I don't know what was on her hair. I didn't get to ask her questions, have a consultation with her before I started. You know, I don't know what the hairstylist was dealing with, but I don't think it looks bad. I don't wanna say anything. Like I said, the fact that he's letting me go back tomorrow for free. That is, is nice. Very appreciated. That is nice. Because I just spent like $120 on this. That's not a bad price at all for a haircut, a blow dry, and balayage. Woo! You wouldn't want to know how much we charge in New York City, honey. You wouldn't want to know. So this is day two of hair transformation. She looks cute. I like it. It's not the guy's fault. Like bleach is just like hit or miss with people's hair and sometimes it takes two times yeah, to get Yeah, sort of it. true. I, I do see like some harsh lines in the foiling, but overall, it's not that bad. And I don't think it's mommy-ish. I think she looks young. I think she looks, again, healthier, cooler, and better than she did when she walked in. So it looks For healthy. a minute straight, but I hope when this is all done that I like my hair and if not, I'm taking the L. No, I have short hair. So, I, like I said, I'm gonna insert the picture of what I wanted, <laughs> and then this is what I received. Okay, keep in mind, I wanted balayage, and I wanted my hair trimmed, not short. And the nicest way to put it, it looked like I belong in In Sync back in 1997. <laughs> like this, look at the back. The back is completely, like there's one high. <laughs> Oh, f what happened? <laughs> okay, it went from like, I was impressed, like I didn't think it was that bad to like, kind of unfortunate. I mean, it looks like she had some pre-existing color before she went and got her hair lightened and like her ends clearly didn't pick up as blonde as her mids and her roots did because of that pre-existing color. Yeah, she definitely needs another, an, another toner on that because it looks like that 
the toner they use has washed away and left her with some yellow orange hair and she needs to get that redone. And then on top of it, in the picture- The haircut's really choppy, really choppy. That I showed, the girl had all brown hair here and then just blonde on the bottom. So I went yesterday to get my hair done and I didn't like the outcome of it. So I told him like straight up like, hey, this really wasn't what I was looking for. Do you mind if I come in tomorrow so that you can make my hair blonder? But I said I was still gonna give him the benefit of the doubt and then go in today and see what he could do. So basically today he came in and he just went bleach happy. Like he put bleach all over my hair. I really, 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 when I tell you that I thought this- I thought that this was like the result of the first time and the toner just came off. This was like her getting her hair done the second time. <laughs> to the hairstylist that did this, um, you seem like you are using new techniques and learning and it's always important for hairstylists to further their education and learn more because even me like always learning, I don't think I'm the best. I don't think like I can't learn anymore. Like we always have to learn. So that guy sees her video or this video, maybe just take a balayage class and you can get way better. Okay, let's move on. I feel bad. All right, so another, I went to the Boris Review Hair Salon video, duh. Uh, and this is Ishta's life. So let's see if this maybe is a little bit less um, cringy than the last one. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Ishta. Hi, Ishta. Back to the Hair Salon in my city. Okay, so they're going in and lightening in foils. I approve of this sectioning. They're doing horizontal sections, which is gonna give you a very, very stripey look, or like a very in your face, impactful highlight moment. Um, if she wanted more of a soft highlight, I don't know which one she wanted, but if she wanted more of a soft highlight, I'd recommend doing vertical sections. That way when the hair is down, it just blends better and it's not as harsh. If you're a hair out there and you don't know, horizontal sectioning for balayage gives you more of a harsh, impactful highlight. And vertical highlighting will give you more of a soft, natural effect. Okay. So, oh, honestly, this is like, again, it looks like not the worst technique. It looks good to me. I mean, nothing looks alarming. This is exactly how I would have done it. I, I mean, maybe not exactly, but like very similar. Let's see, wh where does this go bad? Wait, it's so pretty. Surprise, but I'm actually back at the salon. And that's because I really wasn't happy with my hair. Guys Hold like up. One side, but, um, I'll give you my opinion in a second. Cut, literally crooked. So, so it's like half is higher than the other. And um, secondly, like the whole top part of my hair. It sort of looks like an ombre that was done well and then grew out over the summer and like you haven't colored it in a long, long time. It just should have been like a lot higher up on her head. It just looks way too low. I would have not done so much highlighting on the bottom. That way she still has some of that natural hair color going through, dividing up the highlights to give a more dimensional, modern look. Let's see, wh where are we going with this though? I did tell the stylist that like, I did want it like at least up to here because when you dye your hair, you want it to be like more blended. But if you guys look at the top part of my hair right now, it's all dark. So it looks yeah. like I need to get my hair done. So um, that's why we're back at the salon and this is definitely gonna impact um, how I rate the salon in, oh. um, in my city. I wanted to start higher up. Cause I remember you showing me with your hand and you said, oh, we'll do it around here. So I was like, yeah, around here is good. It's so dark and then I put my hair up in a ponytail or anything. The whole back, nothing is done. When I, like I looked at many pictures, so I can show you pictures. Yeah, but also when I do go higher, I don't want it like super blonde higher. I want it like to gradually like fade to that color. She's not being a difficult client. And nobody said she was, but I just wanted to make sure that's known. She honestly is just asking for something normal, something that the stylist should have just been like, okay, yeah, it makes sense. Like she wants it high up. She doesn't want it bright from the root. She wants a lighter brown than what she has now, fading into a very light blonde at the ends. Literally every client wants the same balayage highlights. Even if they explain like, I don't want it really high up. I don't want it really high up. Girl, you all want it high up. Some people just don't know how to explain well what they actually want. But honestly, what she's saying, it makes a lot of sense to me. And let's see like how, this. how this goes though. It's the problem is what you yeah. want can only achieve in one sitting. You can't physically do that 
in two hours. Dude. Okay, this is a lot. <laughs> There's so many things to break down here. First of all, if they didn't think that they could do it in the allotted time, you are responsible for explaining this to her that she needed two sessions or she needed to book for more time. That is not her fault. Therefore, they should just do it for her again for free because they did not make her aware that it would take a longer time. However, I do think it was very much possible within a two hour time frame to make her hair that light. It could 100% be done. It wasn't like a corrective process. She's fucking highlights going to the top of her head. <laughs> Like, I paid for a balayage on a color correction. Like, two different color corrections three times more than what you paid for. Let's not talk about what you paid for. The color correction is three times what you paid for, so let's not talk about what you paid for. She didn't ask for a color correction, she wanted highlights. <laughs> okay, so they're going back in. Again, though, their technique looks beautiful. Like, the way she was, the, who, the guy, girl who was painting that, the way she was stroking that hair was fabulous. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna come out that bad. I think that they're just over blending. The technique is there though. Like this is actually very good. Like, it's just over blending, which is a thing that happens a lot. That's what I used to do when I first started balayage painting. Like I used to blend till my arm gave out. And then I'd realize like people don't like it super blended out these days. They like a little bit of like dimensional highlight moments, you know? Hey everyone. So as you saw, oh, I actually no. had to go to the salon. Let's just analyze this real quick and we'll listen to her. It, it's just over blended. She wants balayage. She doesn't want an overall one color. She wants highlights, visible highlights going through her hair. This just looks like she, she got her hair colored fully one solid color and then grew it out for a year. Like, just stop blending so much. Because the first thing um, that was wrong was my hair was actually like crooked. All right, so I watched the rest of her video. She doesn't really say if she if she is happy with it or not. I don't know. I don't really understand. Or maybe I just missed that part. But it doesn't look horrible. I just, you guys know. I already explained myself a million times and I really um, enjoyed watching these videos a lot. She doesn't look bad. She it just isn't exactly what she asked for and not exactly what I would have done if I had the same head of hair in front of me. But to each their own. Um, so I very, very much enjoyed filming this video and being more educational and, and sharing some of my knowledge with you guys about highlighting. Uh, it's one of my favorite topics. I love painting. I love balayage. I love it. I love it. It's so artistic. It's so fun. So hope you found it entertaining. I know it was very informative, less funny than usual, but this is the kind of stuff that I actually really enjoy making is educational stuff. Hope you enjoyed it. Also, you guys, I do have a new channel. It's called Brad and Eric. It's with my brother. Um, I released a trailer already, so please go check that out. I'd very much appreciate it if you supported me on that channel. Do it if you wanna, and don't if you don't. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Brad Mondo NYC, and my brand, X Mondo Hair. And thank you guys so much for being here and watching today. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I will see you all next time. Peace.